Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and today I'm going to open up some more Chilling Rain Blister Packs. I have a total of 10 weight packs here, and they are all leftover heavy packs for my pack weighing tutorial, and in that video I found that the light packs actually give you more packs with white code cards, which will most likely contain the hits like the ultra rares. They also can give you hollows, but I got a lot of ultra rares that way. I originally was going to keep them sealed, but something inside me told me to open them up, so I decided to open them up here on camera. So before we get started, I'm going to turn on my scale. And if you guys want to weigh packs like me, the link for the scale that I use is in the description down below. I'm calibrating it. It's a little off, but good enough. Okay, so this first pack here weighs 32.26 grams and in my pack weighing video I usually recommended opening up packs that weigh around 32 grams or slightly below that like 31.8 31.9 they tended to give me a lot of good hits so this is pretty heavy of a pack 32.26 grams I'm going to weigh the individual booster pack inside 22.64 grams Okay, let's see what we have inside. A green code card. And that means we have nothing. So I think I'm gonna skip the packs with the green code cards because there's not gonna be any hit in there and it's just a waste of time. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like button down below. It really helps me out and also subscribe. So this next pack weighs 32.33 grams. And the individual booster pack weighs in at 22.69 grams. And you know, with different print runs, there's a different amount of uh, weight that they add with the glue that they use to seal the packs, a green code card. We're gonna skip it. So that all leads to variability in terms of the weights. And all of these packs were actually bought from Walmart. 32.21 grams, so a little bit lighter. 22.62 grams. Another green code card. So like I thought, um, the light packs give you the white code cards. All these heavy packs are giving me green code cards, so I'm not getting any hits. Maybe I should have kept them sealed. 32.22 grams. 22.61 grams is the weight of this pack. Ooh, a white code card. Okay, so this is a nice change of pace. I'm gonna skip the card trick, but we only have a hollow. A hollow is a rude. So, so far I think we opened up four or five packs. We still have a couple packs left, We're kind of halfway through. 32.19 grams is the weight, so it's a lighter pack, so maybe we'll get a white code card again. 22.59 grams. All right, and what we have is a white code card. Okay, so these lighter heavy packs are giving me white code cards. But again, just another hollow, a hollow Gardevoir. So no ultra rare so far. 32.25 grams. Okay. Next pack weighs in at 22.63 grams. A green code card. Nothing great inside of there. Okay. 32.24 grams. Okay. To save time, I kind of pre opened the cardboard blister packs. This next pack weighs 22.62 grams. And what we have inside is a white code card. Okay. Are we going to get an ultra rare? Nope, my third hollow. So all the white code cards that I got so far have given me uh, just a hollow, no ultra rares. And you know, recalibrate my scale since it did that. I'm gonna use the 100 gram weight just to be sure. Okay, it's a little off. I might have to recalibrate it completely with this 100 gram weight later instead of just tearing it. 32.20 grams. The pack itself weighs 22.59 grams. And 
And a green code card. This is a horrible opening. Two packs left. I'm not too hopeful that I'm gonna get anything good. 32.25 grams. And let me make sure the scale is working. Yeah, kind of went back to its original weight, the weight of uh, the weight at which we started the video. Okay, the individual booster pack weighs 22.65 grams. And a white code card. So we might get something good. Anything? Oh my gosh. Is that what I think it is? We got something really good. I think I'm going to do the card trick here. Okay, here's the code. Oh, here's a code. Good luck, guys. Okay. One, two, three from the back. Okay. Crabominable, Doctor, Cast Form, Larvesta, Sabo, Lediba, Squovet, Reverse Slurpuff, and I knew it was a full art. It might even be an alt art because, okay, what is it? Yes! Yes! This is the best card you can pull in Chilling Rain. It's a Blaziken VMAX alternate art. It looks awesome. I kind of got spoiled because I saw the Blaziken colors. Okay, I, I, I'm I glad I opened up these packs. I was originally going to keep them sealed, and I got nothing for the first few packs, but this made it all worth it. Wow, look at that beautiful card. And you'll be really careful with it. I'm going to check the centering and everything just in case I want to grade it in the future. But it looks spectacular. Let's put it... This sleeve has a little imperfection on it. So let me get a new sleeve and slowly sleeve it up. Okay, wow, this card looks amazing. Centering's actually pretty good. Hopefully if I do grade it, I'll get a PSA 10 because this is an amazing looking card. I don't like the art in particular. Um, I like the design of it. I like the Intellion, but the art style is not my favorite. But I'll, I'll take it, I'm really happy. Blaziken's one of my favorite Pokemon. So let me um, turn on my scale again. Last pack weighs 32.24 grams. And the individual booster pack weighs 22.69 grams. And to finish off this video, I opened up a dud pack with a green code card. But that doesn't really matter because I got one of the best cards in this set, if not the best card this Blaziken VMAX. So I'm gonna recap the polls real quick. All right, so after opening up 10 Wade Chilling Rain Blister Packs, which were actually the heaviest packs instead of the lightest packs, which I recommend opening uh, if you do weigh, I got a total of four hits. So four of these booster packs gave me white code cards. However, three of them only gave me hollow. So I got this hollow Tauros, hollow Gardevoir, and hollow Zerud. But that doesn't really matter because one of the white code cards gave me the spectacular Blaziken VMAX alternate art. It's uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. Not a huge fan of the art style, but it's the best card that you can pull in this set. And the centering looks spectacular. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more Pac-Wayne videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Collector Cousin out.